Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Tiny Mac, and today we are in part three of our Sims 4 Horse Ranch Let's Play. Okay, now I know you might be wondering why does the ranch look so different? I did some renovations and I moved some things around. I heard some people in the comments say that if the horse jumps are aligned like straight on with each other, that they can jump through in a routine and like go through both of them. So I wanted to see if that works. So I reworked the jumps to be over here instead of those stalls that were originally here. And then the barrel racing was right here. Then I moved barrel racing right over here. And then the pasture, I just expanded a little bit and cut it off. So it's not like going through. I actually expanded the barn as well. I added one more stall. This is gonna be like a breeding stall. Once we get breeding, I want the mom and foal to sleep with each other. So we're gonna assign them this stall. And then the rest is for obviously our show horses. And then the rescue pen I moved into to the back. I didn't really like the setup over here. It just didn't really look organic with the rest of the lot. So I changed it up and instead put a little pond over here with the chicken coop. And then obviously we have the little goat pen and sheep pen over here. And then a little fireplace. Oop, Lydia's was on fire. A little fireplace so they can kind of hang out and stuff when they throw parties. But yeah, overall, I like this feel a little bit better. And it also just looks like a more prestigious horse ranch in my opinion, which is the look I'm going for. Obviously, I don't want it to be like too upscale and high end. I want it to still feel like a ranch and like a farm and you're getting your hands dirty. Onyx, are you barrel racing? No, I thought he was training. All right, so I have some things planned for this episode. I was reading all of your comments, and first of all, we are gonna name the horse ranch this episode. I will be doing that at the end, but I do have a name picked out. You guys gave me a lot of inspiration in the comments. I'm really excited to show you. But yeah, we're just gonna get right into it and start training away because we have a lot to do. I've been playing around with this pack in my own family, and <laughs> our horses are nowhere near where my horses are in that other family, and I have five horses in the other family too, and they're all worth like thirteen thousand dollars and these guys are kind of struggling right now so we need to get them training and competing i've realized competing is the best way to get their money up and to get them more expensive i don't really care what bojack's price is because we're keeping him forever i'm never getting rid of him i love him so much but all the other horses we probably will end up breeding them and then selling them and keeping their foals that's kind of how i imagine this going right now just so we can get some money rolling in i mean we might have like one stellar horse that's just like the best at everything and we might keep him as like our cha champion horse but other than that we're just gonna keep selling and rolling through you know and honestly i was thinking about boone i don't know how worth it it is to keep him let me know your thoughts on that because i have noticed that if you train your horses high enough when they breed, they'll get special skills and it'll be easier to train them. That would just be better because if we're gonna have five horses in general, it's gonna be so hard to train them all and it's gonna be very challenging. At least that's what I've noticed with my other household. It's super fun because it's like you have so much to do, but it is very time consuming trying to train five horses. So I don't know, Boone just might not be worth it because he isn't a foal with special skills, you know? And so he's gonna age up and we're gonna have to start from ground zero. And ideally I would like to have a full that ages up and you know is kind of already halfway there that we can just keep training and not have to do zero to a hundred every single time let me know what you think we should do with boone should we keep him or should we sell him and you know breed our own horses i don't really know i'm kind of up in the air about it because i do love him i just don't know how worth it it is you know but anyways our sims are all ready to go lydia is ready for the day and so is nico nico looks like he's going to groom bojack yeah so they're all worth like sixteen hundred dollars right now so we're gonna get them up and get them training and see if we can enter a competition. We probably can't today because it's already four and we need to train them for a couple hours. What's Onyx's bear racing skill right now? Um, agility is three. So he's doing all right. Temperament's three too. So let's have Nico go train Onyx really quick. Just get him nice and cleaned up and then mount him up and go train for a couple hours. See if we can get that skill up a little bit. I do wanna see if this course thing works. I read a comment that said EA updated this. So now if you put them in a line, they'll jump through and you know do the little course. I really hope it works. I might not have done it right. So let me know. I really want them to jump like multiple jumps and not just you know jump one, turn around and keep jumping that same one. <laughs> Let's have them train up for a bit. And then I think that we're just gonna enter Onyx into a competition tomorrow and Luna. What is, how many championships have, oh, he only has one? He's worth 1600. He just leveled up to level four. We also need to get his endurance up because I have noticed that endurance makes a big difference in your training. He's only had one third place trophy. We need to get them gold medals. Luna, let's see, 1650. Oh, first place. Okay, cool. Your jumping skill is four, temperament's four. And then endurance is one. We need to get that one up too. So once they get to a certain skill too, they can direct their horse to... 
Oh, they already can do that? Oh, let's just direct Onyx to go train. It's 8.30, you guys gotta get up early and go race competitions. Also, let me know which horse you want me to breed. We have Arvana is a mare, Bojack's a stallion, Onyx I think is a stallion too, and then Luna's a mare. So we could breed Arvana or Luna. Let me know which one and which one you want them to breed with because I do kind of want to keep it in the family, you know? <laughs> I don't want to go to some random- <gasps> Oh my gosh, or we could breed with one of my horses from my household with Kara. What horses does she have? She has Barbaro, which is a mare, and then Arrogant. She has like three other horses though that are all stallions and beautiful too. So I wonder if we could get them close enough if we could breed with her horse, like her stallions, and then have their babies. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I think this is a great idea. And maybe we'll go visit her farm today and then see if we can get the horses nice and close. Or maybe we'll do that next episode so you guys can let me know your thoughts on that. And even if you want that to happen or if you just want to keep it in between our farm. But I think that would be really cool to kind of connect our households in some way. And all of her horses are like champions. So they're all solid riders. I think they have the championship horse trait so then our fools could get special skills. <gasps> I think this is a great idea. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put Lydia to sleep. She is is tired as well. Oh, she's also hungry, but we'll deal with that tomorrow. Yeah, Luna could breed with one of her champion horses over at the other farm, and then they get the special skill, and then it's easier to train, and then we can sell Boone and get some money. How much is worth? How much is Boone worth? Eleven hundred dollars. Hmm. Okay. Well, we can work on that. Oh shoot, we have a goat we gotta take care of. Oh my goodness, Bert. I'm so sorry. Poor Bert. Poor little guy. You're just stuck in a kennel. We're gonna unlock this, let you go roam around. I don't really care where you go anymore. Besides the jumping course, please don't go interfere with the jumping course. We only have like one little guy and I'm keeping him secluded in solitary confinement in this little cage. <laughs> like he's, oh, did they just turn off our water? Uh-oh, Bills came in. Um, <laughs> Almost five grand, okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna have to go without some power, water for a moment. We gotta get money. Stat. Holy cow. Okay, get up, friends. You got things to do. Oh, look at our little cute horse. I love Bojack. I don't, I'm gonna say this a zillion times in this Let's Play. I love him. <laughs> he makes me wanna cry because I love him so much. I don't know, something about him. He's just got that vibe. All right, so the competition's open at seven. Let's see if we can get some training in. They're stinky, does that matter? Will that affect his performance in a competition? Oh, oh, that hurt. We don't have water. <laughs> we do not have water. Okay, so let's go train. Oh, sorry, Onyx. I'm sorry, you're probably just going to bed. Oh, actually, you're pretty good. Okay, cool. Let's go wake him up. Get your ass up. We have bills that need to be paid. That's all you are. You're just a little meal to get us money. You're a little working meal, okay? You don't get to enjoy the simple pleasures. Just kidding, I love you. Just kidding, just kidding. I'm just a little on edge because we do not have money. That's it, that's all. We can't even feed you if we wanted to right now, okay? That's how low on funds we are, Onyx. I knew it was coming, you guys. I knew it was coming. I knew that this whole idea was gonna bite me in the ass. But you know what, is I feel like a lot of people are starting to do like inheritance Let's Plays and you know, Let's Plays where people start off with money and I wanted them to start off with the property, but not the money. And they just stuck all their last funds into this farm and they were like, we have to make this work. This is our last opportunity for this to succeed. And if it doesn't, we're gonna go broke. They're going for broke right now. They're living going for broke, okay? That's a Sims 3 horse reference, if you didn't get that. They gotta train harder than all the other ranchers out there that just have money, you know? Like they gotta prove themselves. So that's why I kind of did it this way because I feel like a lot of people are starting to do Let's Plays where you have certain accommodations or certain funds to start with and I thought it would be fun to have the accommodation but not the funds and it really makes you work you are really reading a book right now well we're about to lose our house you're like yep let me just go read this mystery book this looks really good oh woman we have 10 minutes until the races open up so the good thing is we can race all of our horses which we are definitely going to do so arvana is level four in our endurance so we're gonna have her do an endurance race yeah and we're just gonna have them compete in all of their strong suits you know we're just gonna keep that going oh we should start a garden too gardens always make good money yes we're definitely gonna have to do that oh and we have wine oh my gosh i forgot about that is this aged yet lightly aged we are ready for action. Actually, they're already ready. Should we just go ride? 
Oh, I feel like he should train Onyx just a little bit more. What's Onyx at? Oh, he's at four. He could get to five. Let's just go, you know, intensely train him really quick. See if we can get a little bit more. We'll have Lydia go race right now, but we're not traveling to the competition center. I'm sorry. I figured out you could just do it this way. It's so much easier because then I can have horses still training at home, you know, and then I also just go take them. There will be times when we go to the actual competition center and like go do all that fun stuff. But the town is honestly a ghost town. There's no horses roaming around. There's barely any Sims walking around. So I just, I don't see the point. This horse is in a negative mood, which slightly reduces the chances of winning. Oh man. <laughs> Luckily, Nico's almost leveled up in both the agility for Onyx and his riding skills. So that would be good for competitions. All right, we're just gonna have to enter her as is. Oh, perfect. Oh, this is great. Get us money. What do you win? 750 bucks. Get us that dub, Luna. Oh, she doesn't have the recommended skill. We're doing it. Send it. Oh, I can't shower. I know. I'm sorry. We can't shower. <gasps> Oh, victory! As the competition intensified, you and your horse took the challenge head-on and competed like champs. It's time to move up the ranks and face even more formidable competitors. You can now participate in show jumping expert. Let's go. We needed that one. All right, now let's go have you compete with another horse. Actually, let's have you go compete with Bojack if you can. I know that when they have positive moodlets, they're more likely to win when they have a lower level. I don't know if I want to take that chance right now. I mean, even if he gets second or third, that's more than the... Th okay, yeah, we're just going to do intermediate with Onyx. Hopefully, please get us a medal, please. Oh, let's have you go do a community job and get us the moolah. Let's teach show jumping with Luna. Hopefully you guys can have a good payout. We still have like two grand to go. Oh God, this is not looking good at the moment. Oh, <gasps> another victory with Onyx, gold medal. Congratulations, the competition was fierce, but you and your horse were a force to be reckoned with. The barrel stayed perfectly still as your duo navigated the clover figuration gracefully and quickly. Looks like you're ready to compete with experts. <gasps> oh my gosh. You are gonna go compete again, Nico. So sorry to do this to you. Bojack's sleeping, but we're gonna do it. We got first place in all of our intermediate competitions today. Please, Bojack, you are the star. Please get us money. Oh, he did not place. Dang it, dude. We needed that, Bojack. That would have put us so close to our goal. Or at least, you know, uh, helped us out. Oh, that hurt. Okay, well, do we have any other horses we can compete with? Arvana. Oh, yeah. We can do endurance racing with Arvana. Since Lydia's gone, we're just gonna have Nico do the race with Arvana. Okay. <gasps> okay, 250. We'll take it. Oh. 250 bucks. Okay, what are we at? 3,800. Let's do give riding lessons for Dalt because the horse riding and temperament skills increases payout and I'm pretty sure Bojack has a solid temperament. So we're gonna see if he can get us some money. But I also do remember someone told me in the comments that if you throw a ranch day event and have people, you know, like pet your animals and do whatever, it's like a fundraiser for your ranch and you'll earn money. So we are doing that right this instant and seeing how much money we can make. Okay, yep, we're doing it. Wrigley, we'll invite you, we'll invite your sister, we'll invite Kara Swan, Ezra, you know, how many open invites? I think that's a pretty good amount. And then it's gonna be at our farm right now right this instant all right welcome to our farm everyone meet guests meet guests go greet go hey you're also freaking fast thanks for coming sis thanks for coming uncle let's go pet a mini animal bert you're gonna get so much attention today you're gonna love this bert oh my god look at bert Oh, you're gonna be so happy, Bert. This is gonna be like Christmas day for you. Pet a mini animal. We gotta go pet Bert. Guys, this has to be extremely successful. Okay, so this is, who is this? Gianna, Giovanna, yeah. So this is Wrigley's sister, also Nico's cousin. So he's gonna go talk to them. <laughs> it just looks like this dirty homeless man. They come to the farm, they're like, oh, Nico. This is what you've been doing with your life since you bought the farm? It really looks like you're living your best life. Your dream of owning a big ranch has come true. We can't do tricks. That's off the table. We do not have a close enough relationship with Bert. Okay, so, ooh, we got that one. Joke, no, uh, mm-mm, get back over here. Oh, I thought that was us. 
I thought that was us. That's his uncle. Thank you so much for letting us know that we're not making six grand this month, but you are. Okay, let's go. Oh my God. You gotta get up, dude. We got we got things to do still. Come on. We gotta get this moolah. Go pet Bert, please. Just go pet your freaking goat. How hard it- Oh my God. It's because everyone wants to pet Bert. He's a star of the show. Thank you. Socialize with animals. Cool. We can do that. We can do that. Ask about your milk quality. How's your how's your quality of milk down there, Bert? Does that mean he's a female? Okay, come on, dude. What is going on? Just <clears throat> he's my goat. Let me talk to my goat. He's mine, not yours. Once I make my move, I don't know why that just came to my head. <laughs> People, stop talking to my goat. Thank you, Bert. Have gas feed ranch animals. How are we supposed to? How are we supposed to ask them that? I, there's. What are you? talking about there's not even a way for me to ask them to do that i just have to wait i just have to wait around and trust that strangers are gonna feed my goat no thank you so they're just automatically gonna try to do it so please go ahead someone feed my dang animals it's all in your guys's hands this is it please oh are you gonna feed him guys please this is a community event community come together and please can we just all work together to get me money why does no one want to talk to bert now everyone wanted to talk to him two seconds ago now no one wants to talk to bert i am about to lose my temper okay do you have to like go hand feed them go hand feed a pomegranate mm. i want to see if this works i want to see if you count as a guest because you're not the host does this count oh, of course it doesn't of course it doesn't why would it why would it? why would the sims make anything easy bert oh i thought he was sleeping i'm gonna do a meditation after this episode <laughs> all right Yep, everyone just stand around Bert. We have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Sims around Bert. And they just want to hug and pet him. No one wants to be like, hey, are you hungry? Let's have some milk. All right, guys. Well, it was a good try. We got a participation award on this one. Do, 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 do. This is awesome. This is so great. We can't do anything. And we have no money to eat. We're going to have to sell some things because we are not making enough. <sighs> Yeah, we're gonna have to sell some stuff, guys. <laughs> we'll see how much we make from this stupid ranch event. $450? It was great seeing Sims and animals come together for an event of fluff and fun. It could have been a better event, but it also could have been much worse. The guests came together to donate a reasonable amount of simoleons to the ranch. Maybe the animals deserve something for their efforts. Whoa! 450 bucks for a silver medal? I wonder what you get on gold. We're gonna have to do more of those and get more goats and sheep so people have more opportunity to feed them. And we also need to teach Bert tricks. This is good to know. Guys, I'm so positive now. All right, let's sell this whole little setup though. We do not need this. We don't even have four simps. What is this, 40 bucks? Hmm, we need something a little bit more than that. <laughs> oh, the computer. We're living on a farm, people. We don't need to compete. Oh my God, that was $3,000 sitting in my house? Dude, yeah, let's sell this. We'll put something else there. Oh my God, guys, we just easily made bills. <laughs> oh, wow, I could have done that from the start and not stressed everyone out this whole entire episode. Go me! You guys need to get your needs up ASAP. So he's going to bed right now. He's going to piss his pants too, and then he's going to shower, but he's already stinky, so I'm just going to let him pee his pants. God, I'm so mean to my sims sometimes. Like, I love them, and I love this game, but, like, I just, I like to rag on them and just, you know, make fun of them, even though I love them dearly. So if you think I'm being, like, too sassy and sarcastic, it was also a really stressful episode, okay? So please give me that. I won't be like this every episode, but today it was just very stressful. I like to stress out my sims when they stress me out, okay? We're going to have you go train actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna have luna train independently on the horse jumps and then we're gonna go train arvana and take her for a run so we can get her endurance up and then we'll have nico we'll have nico independently train onyx while he works on bojack's temperament i just did that so fast i don't even know how my brain thought of it but i love the idea oh cute look at them nursing she's not your mom yeah, let me know on the whole breeding thing and how you guys want me to do that and who you want me to breed, Arvana or Luna, or if you just want us to keep Boone and not breed, but I feel like breeding would be fun. I don't know. 
I'm very indecisive right now, but I want to make sure to get your guys' input because obviously this Let's Play is for all of us. So I just want to be sure that you guys can put your two cents in before every episode, before like a big decision. So we can kind of all shape this Let's Play together. I feel like it's more fun that way when we have just like a whole community of people putting input on this Let's Play. It just can take it in so many directions and make it so much more interesting. I definitely love hearing your guys' comments. As you can tell from my last video, I responded to I think every single one of them. So definitely comment your thoughts on what you think we should do, who we should breed, you know, just anything. It doesn't even have to be all that. It could be anything. I enjoy talking to you guys, so I always appreciate the comments and the conversations. You guys are good to go, right? How are you guys still tired? I don't know, but we gotta go train. I'm sorry. Okay, you had a little nap. Let's have you go fix these, and then we'll have Luna come train on the jumps. Let's have you go ask onyx to practice barrels while you go work on bojack try to get his temperament up so he can do more western pleasure oh god both of you guys are so tired <laughs> let's go for an intense ride on arvana so what is onyx's level again he's level five? Oh, onyx are killing it she's about to be level five what is your temperament at four okay yeah we need to level him up and then what is your endurance at four too okay cool guys we're making steady progress with our training though look at us for having five horses all of them are pretty trained for our third episode just wait until like episode eight they're all gonna be fully trained champion horses and we're gonna be making bank god i'm gonna eat those words i'll make a funny youtube short when episode eight comes and we're still crunching for money and they are not fully trained <laughs> one month later like the little spongebob sound and then it's just gonna be me screaming for help help me i'm poor that's what it's gonna be oh he can tr he can actually race barrels now let's go have him race oh being a brave horse luna was able to comfort bojack to no longer be spooked thank you luna that was very useful wow look at how great today turned out to be it started off stressful but we got the bills paid we got three thousand dollars so still some cushion room for all of the next bills we're just gonna sloop that into your inventory sloop oh we need a ranch hand but we do not have money for that at the moment so we're just gonna have to do it ourselves diy please don't oh god i'm just gonna speed it up until they're fully rested and then we'll kind of see where we're at right there okay it is currently 7 30 p.m and they are all rested so we're gonna have them get back to it and train their horses again arvana reached level five of endurance sims will now be able to compliment physique on arvana okay bojack leveled up his skill cool so he's level five. Oh, his temperament's about to level up too oh my gosh this is great cool and then we'll probably wrap up the episode here shortly once we're all done training them and getting them cut to a good spot oh yeah let me reveal the ranch name for you guys honestly i was having a hard time picking ranch names because all of them are so good and i loved all of them but i did think since we are in chestnut ridge i thought it'd be fitting to do something with chestnut so da -da -da -da, the ranch name is chestnut champions because these are all going to be champion horses. So I figured it was fitting. It has alliteration in it. It has chestnut in it for chestnut ridge. So I thought that was a really good name. It's just chestnut champions. There was a lot of alliteration in all of the names, which I really enjoyed. So I wanted to keep the alliteration, but I also did want to include something with chestnut. So chestnut champions is the name of this farm all of the best horses in all of chestnut ridge are right here at this farm but yeah let me know if you guys like that ranch name i can definitely change it if most of the consensus is that you don't like the names we'll change it to something else but i think chestnut champions is pretty fitting since we are in chestnut ridge let me know your thoughts on the name and what you think if it's a good one or a bad one or if i could have done better but <laughs> so all of the horses are in pretty good moods at the moment so i think we're just gonna wrap it up here we got our bills paid for the month for the week actually it's not by month it's by week which is even more stressful but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel the support really means a lot to me and i appreciate it a lot more than you think it's super helpful seeing your guys' support in all of this i'm excited to continue this journey with all of you and i hope you have a great day slash night and i will see you next time peace mm -hmm.